Morning guys, and it is morning. Uh, typically, I mean, I wasn't going to film anything at work because it's kind of uneventful as far as interesting things, but uh, what I'm looking at right now kind of disgusts me. Um, you guys have heard of, you know, people tagging buildings, you know, spray paint, writing designs and everything. I have no idea what this is. Got orange up there, over here, on this door, there, all along the building there, all the way down. It's like somebody took a freaking paint roller and just striped, I don't know. <sighs> freaking morons. Alright guys, I've been elected. I've been elected to take all the paint off the freaking side of the building. I'm feeling like the karate kid right now. Wax on. Wax off. Daniel Sensei, hard work. But at least I'm not getting dehydrated. I've got plenty of water. Oh yeah, and it's warm today. So if I'm not too tired, and I remember, I'll show you guys when I'm all done. And if I had time, you know, I'm at work so I can't like dilly dally, but this is the last that remains. How's it going, Paul? Hey. Say hi. All right, <laughs> Mr. Scrubby. Yeah. This looks like a comfortable brush, but my arm hurts. Here's my wall, no more paint on it. Right now, my arms are like freaking jello. So apparently what happened is the nail salon down here painted last night and they left out their paint with a roller and that's where it starts. It starts right there and they just kind of rolled and rolled and rolled and I was gonna be a good neighbor and like do theirs too, but I ran out of time. And they also got a car in the, in the parking lot, one of our customers' cars. So enough of that boring stuff. Let's get home and get some haunting stuff done. So this is Lori Lee's old place. It's empty in here. Here, here, here. See? Cool echo, yes? Yes. Yes. Meh. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> I have to. So, there's your keys. We are leaving. Last time. Goodbye, slumlord. <laughs> I won't miss it. You want to help me get these out to the curb? Because I'm not coming back here ever again. Yeah. Ever, 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 ever? Ever, ever. Oh man, I thought we were gonna have a race. I got further than you, dude. <laughs> My camera's warm. Where'd you have it? Um, <laughs> uh, Places? Now, we, we just got through filming the walkthrough because she just doesn't want to be back here. Ever. Blah, blah, blah. So, there it is. And every time you turn the camera on for a really long time, it gets like really hot. <laughs> Bye POS place. Exactly. No more SpongeBob's in the front yard. No, I'll do that at your place. Okay. Make cool sponge, cool snowman in your in your yard. Hmm. That's yep. Nice. We need to make a jack o' lantern next year. Oh, that would be cool. I know. Wouldn't I want to do cool? something Halloweeny. A snow jack o' lantern. I saw somebody built a skeleton. Head. A skull. A skull. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. That's good. Somebody built Sorry. a skull um, out of snow, and it turned out really, really cool. But I had used up all the snow to make SpongeBob, and she used the rest of it to make a squirrel. <laughs> Slug bug. Boom. Owie. I've been meaning to mention it to you guys. The contest, voting for your favorite <laughs> video for the thousandth subscriber contest. And Saturday at midnight, Pacific Standard Time. So make sure that you go back to the thousandth contest voting vlog. And if I remember, I'll annotate it up here on my receding hairline. And make sure that you vote. You don't have to be a subscriber to vote. Um, you can be anybody. So yeah, go do it. And the cats are here. The dogs are outside, which your dog's not a problem. She knows the cats. 
it's going to be interesting introducing popcorn to the kitties. So we're definitely going to vlog that tonight. Keith is here. He's talking to himself again. Who? You. I'm talking to you now. Forever. What? What? Forever alone. Did you just go like this? Oh, is that what it looks like? <laughs> yeah, dude. Your hair is trash, dude. Look yeah, I know. It, it's because, okay, guys, when I was painting at work, I started sweating and I had cold water there, so it's like, dip my head in the water and I got cool for like 10 minutes. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Defense, rest, prosecution, your witness. <laughs> Angry <Okay>. grizzly? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Get him. Grizzly, <laughs> grizzly will grab you by your shirt like this, and then Grizzly will lift you up, and then Grizzly will throw you across the yard. Huh? I have just been violated. Get off, dude! You grab my nip again. We loaded up all the scrap metal in the back of the truck. It's been a long day, and I don't blame Monica one bit. Um. And then thunder and lightning are starting to roll in again. Don't expect another video unless it's like right up on top of us and everything. Because that would really be cool. Okay. Uh, Keith and I are actually planning out the darkness maze, and, and Keith's had a lot of good ideas. I'm very impressed, bro. It's freaking awesome. That's what I do. <laughs> so here we go, starting from the beginning. Check and this, this out. This is Troy's idea. The, yeah, this is my idea. Um, Not that it matters. We're a team. I like my credit given to me. Yeah, whatever. So I'll give you credit to you. Um, so Troy's idea, like we were talking about having one door or where we should put the door, and Troy was like, ooh, what if we made two doors and split them up at the beginning? Yes. And I'm like, okay, yeah, let's do that because automatically what you're doing is you're splitting up the group, and that's automatically going to catch people out. They're going to be like, oh, shit, now I got to do this by myself, nigga, where's my chain? <laughs> <laughs> but... But I mean, so what we're gonna, so what we're talking okay. about doing, sorry, I know. That's okay. Like. So split them up, one on the left most, and I know it's dark, guys, I apologize, but one on the, well, actually, it's the right. So one over there, one over here. So two different doors, mm -hmm. enter. You enter. One single piece of plywood separating so that the room in here is fairly kind of large. Keep going. And then we'll have like gatekeepers on either side. They'll go over the rules, you know, don't touch the actors, actors won't touch you, you know, no running in the haunt. And as soon as they go in, we have a cyclone fence here and here. Now it's it's apart for where an actor to be. After each individual party goes through their door, still two separate doors, mm -hmm. they come over here. There's gonna be two sections of chain link on this side of the chain. The outside part of the chain link is gonna be people going down on this side of the chain link, there's gonna be people going down. On the inside of the chain link, two different pieces, there's gonna be an actor. One side Freddy glove, one side probably a pipe. Both right. both sparking on the fence. Yes, on this side, he'll come through and spark, scare the shit out of him to scare him forward. Because the actor will be hidden on both sides, two pieces of plywood. Yes. They won't be able to see him, so he'll come out of nowhere, and the people will be able to see themselves across from each other at this point but they won't be able to see the actor. Yes. And then we go back into uh, just panels, plywood up, and people are still separated. And then we get about halfway down. Now this is my idea, and I don't know if we're rolling with it yet. Okay. But uh, it's what I was talking about in there. And then, because Path of Egress, we shouldn't need it after this, right? Because after this, it'll be... Yeah, one, have right when, here. when they join back up again, yeah. that's where Egress will be out, out the side. Yes. So, and then right here, you bring them back together again. Now my idea with this is, is you bring them together and if they come around the corner, roughly around the same time, they're gonna scare each other. We don't even have to do anything. They're gonna scare themselves. Because this group's gonna come around the corner either, they're gonna be there already, or they're gonna come around the corner. Because at this point it's and, dark. Yeah, and they're gonna be like, oh shit, what the fuck, ah! <laughs> yeah. So they're gonna freak out and be gone. I think it'll be awesome because we're not using any resources right there to scare them because they're going to scare themselves. Yes. And yeah. that that comes off of the choose your own path that we had in the backyard haunt last yes. year because that was so epic. I, like we said before, we just threw that up. We had pallets, we had space. It's like what the hell do we do with this? So it's like put black plastic either side, put it under a black light, choose wisely and see what happens. And just listening to the audio last year and well you you were there for all the night listening to people. Yeah. But for me, you want to go this way or go that way? A lot of them freak themselves out about it. It, it was more beforehand. Yeah. Like, well, I don't want to split up. Well, I want to go this way. I don't want to go this way. 
Yeah, exactly. Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Uh, uh, uh. From there, we come in here, and you know, path egress ends about right here. About I'm gonna say this pole here because that's about halfway, right? Okay. And then what we could do from there is we could just, if we want to extend it, make it longer, mm -hmm. is we could zigzag them. So we'll bring them up, bring them down, bring them up, bring them down. And that's well, probably where not that many, but probably bring them up, bring them down, and bring them back up, and they're out. Yeah, and, and then, that'll be where the speakers come into play. Exactly, the whispers and whatnot. Yeah. So. That both drop dead and Dana have so graciously so, helped us with. Yeah. Uh, and also, guys, uh, flash crackers we're going to be putting in here as well. Yeah. And I think those would go great in the actual maze part of it. You know, because you're going and you're here. Don't go that way. Come back. You know, something like that. And then all of a sudden, right here, you got pop, pop, pop. And you're like, ah! <laughs> oh no, he didn't. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow. You know. And they will come out the gate, and instead of going straight across to the backyard and around the house that way, they're going to come out here and travel in the yard. Probably, I'm thinking like a V, like go down and then come back for basically a walk through graveyard. Yeah. That way, dude. When people come out this way right here, they'll be close to um, to the queue line. When you're close to the queue line and you got your friends going through it or whatever, or even if they're not friends, then I think that's pretty cool for just, uh, you know, for them to say, oh my God, that was so cool, or whatever. And hopefully, oh my God, that sucked. We won't hear any of that. But yeah. if, if we do, then they won't make it out the end of the haunt. <laughs> they'll get stuck under the prop car. <laughs> The, the front planning is basically done because I like that. We're going to roll with that. You guys can't see me. Now you can. Hey, how's it going? All right, guys. So Popcorn's been outside all day. She hasn't even smelled cats yet. She just walked past one. Did she? Yep. Sadie's right there. Oh. Hey. Quiet. Be nice. Kitty, doggy, come on, popcorn, come. Wow, I don't think there's going to be a problem. Popcorn's too damn scared. <laughs> Intermittent scratch break. <laughs> That's all she's doing is going around sniffing like everything. And of course, <laughs> the kitties. When she's gotten close, I've been like, and, and popcorn backs off. So I think, I think, oh, that wasn't me farting, guys. That was my knee. <laughs> Seriously. So yeah, she's just been like all excited and stuff, but no major drama. Sadie talks a lot of BS, but she can't stand behind herself. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it, baby? Huh? What time is it, Kate? It's time for commenting on comments. Yes, it's time for COC. We're going to let Keith read. Very, very good. Because he's been gone for like so long. Very, very bad. Guys, sit down and watch TV. <laughs> they can't. Yes. Cost. <laughs> Weekend messy. Zero views. Uh, she was one that uh, messaged me earlier and said that she uh, subscribed because she thought that I did scare vids. Then she saw that I did vlogs and she said she was going to unsubscribe. Then she said she watched a couple of them and I don't know what it is about us or whatever. But uh, she said that she's going to keep watching. So thank you. Very much appreciated. Yes. Hi, baby. I know. We're addicting. Yes. Emerald Gypsy Heart. Careful, Troy. Those pregnancy hormones can be dangerous. I know. Little toot girl last night. <laughs> so what? Uh, you have it a lot more Same. than me. In the South, they call fizzy drinks Coke, no matter the flavor or brand. In Washington, we we. Uh, what? Oh, in Washington, we picked up calling it soda. I still say soda. Yeah, I say soda. I say pop. So, question: What do they call Coke? Fizzy drinks. 
<laughs> I mean, how do you specify? Is it like, hey, uh, give me a Coke Coke or give me a Coke root beer? I don't understand. I've never heard that before. I haven't either. Justin, 21698. Hike. Hello. Yeah. Hi, Troy. I am from Kansas. I'm going to do a school haunted house. But I have only six hours to put it all up and get people in. 26 people in full makeup. Don't know how I'm going to do it. Any tips on this? Good luck. <laughs> I was thinking about this today at work um, because I was supposed to be working and my advice to you if you're going to use panels which would be the easiest way to do it get as much set up and prepared as you can so that when it comes down to it you can connect all your panels run a couple extension cords and your primary scares are going to be actors yeah, they'd have to be. Yeah, six hours is not a lot of time. Six hours is not time. Nah. time. It takes Troy that long to do his makeup and hair in the morning. Six minutes, come on. Look at the dew. <laughs> uh, Mr. Zombie's Hungry. You vlog bombers. <laughs> miniature form. As Halloween rolls around, be aware of the ghouls that will roam your town. When they come knocking, looking for treats, have a haunt that they that will make them flee the night has come daylight is seen no more a little hellion is heard knocking at my door trick or treat are the words he says but suddenly his eyes are filled with dread severed heads have or severed heads are seen hanging on my wall do you still want candy little hellion or nothing at all mwahahaha I laugh in delight you're at the wrong house now flee or fight nice that was not even that that was like completing the poem. That was really cool. I appreciate that. I'm not sure if you know, but I started off just oh okay. I watched the vlog today. Oh cool. Very useless words. Han guy did the similar for his ghost cannon. I actually got footage on my channel. It was the Han convention thing from last year, did a video for him. I've heard people say soda, pop, coke. I'm used to saying soda. Yeah, I say soda. I say pop. And together, uh, it's soda pop. <laughs> oh my God. Pops the clown. The awaken of monsters, ghosts, and skeletons. Stretch and dust off to come out and play again. Cool. Another addition to Z Hillmouth poem. Because I was feeling poetic. Joycey girl. Laura Lee looks tired. She has worked her butt off, guys. I mean, honestly, between studying and being pregnant and moving this house, house moving, house, the other house. dealing with your landlord. My slumlord. Yeah. She's my landlord. Um, Troy, I think she needs a back massage and breakfast in bed. All right, so moving on to the next comment. Thank remember, you, Sharon. She is, remember, she is carrying your future top. I'm sorry, what was that? It says, remember. No, no, I'm sorry. She's carrying your future top. Trick or treater. I should slow mo that. ABC Noise 2, Diet Mountain Dew. <laughs> Mountain Dew should not be diet form. Wow, hello kitty. <laughs> What's up? Hello kitty. <laughs> Hi Kylie. And this thing is, is it fat or just fluffy? She's fat. Oh, yeah, and fat. is that a fat joke against cats? It is. <laughs> wow. Shank97, be nice to Laura Lee. She probably has not warned you that the misery has yet to come with being pregnant. Kukali 83. Ah, Thank right on. You. I too call it soda and always, always get looks and comments here in Minnesota. For Mountain Dew. I was unaware Carmelie is a word. Just kidding. Did I post disorders or disorder? I don't know. I can't remember yesterday. Adam's on a manor. Hey, it's Keith! <laughs> What was the site to get those soda labels? I'm pretty sure it's uh, jones.com or myjones.com. I don't know for sure. I'm sure if you Google it, you will find it. My Jones. Is it? My Jones? Me and Mrs. GK Eagles 10. No! It's pop. <laughs> In Washington, we call it pop, and why would you want to drink baking soda? Why would you want to drink your dad? Get it? Pop. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which is hollow. Yard Hunter 5 just had a video with a smoke cannon in it. It was very cool. I should watch. 
I saw the last one that he did. I didn't see that one though. Oh, how do you like this one? Twisted faces. That's about what they put too. <laughs> and PK PK, that was amazing. It was the best poem I have ever heard. Well, you must not have read mine. Aww. <laughs> All right, guys. So, from the Hellmouth crew. Happy hunting. See you tomorrow. Ooh, tomorrow, guys, we hopefully find out the sex of the hellion. The boy. The thing right there. Yay. It's a girl hunter. Dude, oh, I'm going to kick your butt. Happy hunting. Happy hunting. Baby. That's some bad hat, Harry. <laughs>